how well we learn is largely a reflection of how well we do what's called receive, process, store, and utilize information. Receiving information means what gets from the world to our brain. And relative to that, we look at problems primarily with vision and, pro and problems with hearing. If your kids are having learning problems, one of the first things you want to do is have their vision checked, make sure they can in fact see. All right, problems with visual acuity are something you want to be aware of and acknowledge. Um, if your child does have an acuity problem, let me clue you in on a few things. First of all, if your child's young, as in preschool, preschool children normally are farsighted. And what you want to do about that is nothing. Okay? Because as they go to school and do more near point work, they'll move more to a neutral position. Okay? If your child, if you take a child and they get, get them examined and they, they tell you the child is myopic, nearsighted, often the best thing to do with that is nothing. Uh, one of the things I'll often tell you is you're nearsighted, here's a prescription, come back in a few months because we're going to need to check you again because we're lousing up your vision and you're going to need stronger glasses. Okay. If a prescription is correct, you can see better, but it doesn't help your eyes typically. Okay. Essentially what happens is you're, you're the, those things that control your vision don't have to do their job once you get, get glasses on there. So you, if you're nearsighted and you get glasses, you tend to get more nearsighted. Farsighted, you get glasses, you tend to get more farsighted. Right. If your child can't see the blackboard at school, you may have to get glasses and encourage a child just to wear them when they have to use them to see the blackboard and take them off. But there's many, 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 many children who are grossly overcorrected uh, with their vision. Uh, there's problems with tracking. You know, your child, yes, sir? You say if uh, you have a child that hasn't been put in glasses um, since first grade or thereabouts, he's now in third, can that be reversed by taking him off? Or having more or less, or is it just uh, <clears throat> not fixable? It depends. It depends on the child. Um, uh, generally, at that age, you can reverse those things fairly easily. The child, you know, and another part of the issue with that, if if you as adults go to the eye doctor, they do something called a refraction. All right, they take an instrument and they shine a light and bounce it off your retina to see where the focal point, and that will give them degrees of nearsightedness or farsightedness. But before they put glasses on you, they sit you down with a chart and they put different lenses on you to see what, in fact, you can see. But with your little kids, they don't do that second part. They just do the refraction, all right? And the refraction can give very, very, very wrong readings. So often the glass, I mean, I, I have kids literally who come in who the family are told the child's vision is 22,000. You know, they've got, you know, glasses, you know, half inch thick, you know. And all of the parents take the kids' glasses off and we'll have them look at things up close and at distance and a child can see everything fine. Okay. Something's wrong. Okay. So, <clears throat> yeah, I, I can't tell you how many children we, we see who come in with, with horrendous prescriptions and end up within very short periods of time having, having normal vision. Yes, ma'am. I have a question. I have a nine year old that actually had her eyes checked, and she had a dilated, and at that point, the eye doctor said that she just couldn't see. And so he recommended that I should get glasses for her. And I did, but here's my daughter saying, Mom, I can see better without them. And it's like they say that she's far sighted. It's just like that close type things. She yeah. might have some difficulty. They might be strained either. But they said if she wears them for a certain length of time, that they should get better. And I guess that's what I'm trying 
Uh, yeah, my, my opinion is not. Generally, you know, I mean, particularly with little girls, little girls, you know, do, do strange things, you know. Uh, you know, little girls ask for glasses, you know, and lie about, yeah, I can see better, you know. Um, so if she's saying she can't, I believe she can see better with the glasses. So. She actually says that she can see better without. without. That's what I'm saying. If she says she's better without, then she's better without. By the way, other little things. You know, another strange thing little nine-year-old girls do. Now, I talked about the dominance deal. Little girls, I've never heard of a little boy doing this. Little girls at like nine start practicing writing with the other hand. A lot of them do that. I don't get that. But, okay. So for sure, she says she sees better without them question whether or not they're correct. And when he dilated her eyes, he did the refraction. That's, that's what he did. The dilating the eyes makes it easier to do the process. Yeah. How about astigmatism? When they tell you they have astigmatism on both eyes. Astigmatism is kind of the, an, an abnormal curvature of the lens. And it's generally perceived as a static thing. You know, but it's produced by the ciliary muscle which controls the lens and you get any kind of spasm or anything in that and you can get some di some distortion. So I, I don't personally think that astigmatism needs to be static and, and particularly in kids. But you know, the, the bottom line, look at function. You know, if your child appears to be able to see well, I mean if you get, you know, I mean this doesn't take a genius, you know. You show them a little thing up close and see if they can see it, and you show them a little thing in distance and see if they can see it. And if they can, they can probably see. Okay. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Our nine-year-old well, she'll be ten. When we had her eyes tested, it was like she was only using one. But she could do either one, just not both at the same time. So when they did the eye test, we thought she was just playing games. So he dilated her eyes so that he said she wouldn't be able to play any games with us. And he said that both of her eyes were weakened because she only used one at a time instead of using them both. So she wears glasses. Well, she did it for like six months, but she started getting headaches. So does she need glasses or? Now you're talking about what we call strabismus, all right, which means a child's using one eye and one eye either floats out or goes in. You have a divergent strabismus or a convergent strabismus, and it can be an alternating where one time one eye does it, the other eye does it. I haven't found that glasses help that. Generally, some fairly simple little eye exercises. She can read, but she can read yeah. a lot faster if she's wearing her glasses. Yeah. I don't know if it just makes her. Yeah, what, what they did with the glasses, I'm sure, is they gave her a bit of a plus lens, a bit of a magnifier. And they might have put what are called prisms in to kind of change the direction so that the eyes kind of are going somewhere else. But it doesn't, it doesn't really, in my experience, fix the problem. Yeah, I mean, could she just, if she worked on it, focus, change her eyes, or they wouldn't do that anymore? Well, generally, it's, it, think of it in terms of, it, it's, it's really a fine motor problem. It's a matter of coordinating the ocular muscles to work well. And again, generally, you know, some simple exercises can help that. You know, are there kids who need glasses? Absolutely, you know, and, and but, you know, for an awful lot of kids, you know, I think they're, they're significantly overprescribed. And bottom line, you want to look at what works, you know. If your child does better without them, don't wear them. If they do better with them, think about it. So any, any visual issues, be it acuity issues or tracking issues or convergence issues like your daughter's, any of those things to some degree can make learning more difficult than it should be. Okay. And you want to know what you're dealing with. I mean, if you have a child who is you know, significantly myopic and can't see the blackboard, that's going to be a problem, you know, and you need to, need to do something about it. But you need to be aware, you know, of, of what's going on there and then make your, you know, a knowledgeable decision about what you want to do to try to fix it.